for different size valves. It's a little weighted. I mean, it's got weight to it. We're gonna find some and we're gonna tweak them big time. Toy, do we dig it another one? Nope. I guess that's it. So we're we're I'm looking for toys for her all the time. She's got it. She's holding it with her paws. 
and she's licking the peanut butter. We did get one more thing for her. I guess I found these. Oh, Roy, I got these at Walmart. All of the toys I found at Walmart, they weren't that expensive. Better than uh, going to Petco. Raw hide free. Yeah, she, oh. I thought these were gonna be chew toys for a while. Not so. She had this scarf down in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Let's see. It smells good. I mean, even for me, it smells good. She got two left. She's having fun. Look what my friend found. They were buried. <laughs> okay, I said, oh my gosh. Beef sticks. We well, found some of this Pacific Ocean original beef jerky. It's never been opened. I took a few. They're good. <laughs> the casing's a little tough, but it's still good. Let's see. I know it's processed meat, but I don't eat it very often, but it sure is. It's a good treat, everyone's saw. There you go. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Jack's Lynx. Mmm. Bee sticks. I recommend them highly. There you go. <laughs> Here's another treat we found. Let's see if you can see it. I've never seen it before. Soft dried cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Unbelievable. Well, it's a soft and juicy. Ooh. We like soft and juicy, huh? Yeah. So, soft dried cantaloupe. It's, the brand is nutty and fruity. Well, obviously we liked it because there's not that much left. The only problem is, I've never had dried cantaloupe before, have you? Got this at Costco. They added so much sugar to it. I would have liked it. It's actually kind of hard to get the flavor of it. Soft and chewy. Soft and juicy. That's what it is. Soft and juicy, it says. Mm -hmm. It is good. Mm. It's like candy. It's like a gummy candy. I recommend them, except they got a lot of sugar in them. But... Hey, Abby, come. Good girl, good girl. Sit. Sit. There she goes. Good girl. She's doing really good. Good girl. She likes to bark at people. But I know she's just trying to protect me, but you got to learn where to have a little bit more um, better decision making when she needs to, yeah. She's working out so good. I just enjoy her so much. Every couple of days I change her scarf. She's got a flag. She's got a red scarf. So I've got some different colors for her, ready to go. Huh, Abby? Mm, these are good. It's a really beautiful day. It's very relaxing here in California. I'm not actually on the coast. I'm kind of inland a little bit, just taking a break from the beach. You can only handle the beach so many days in a row, yeah. But I come to my one spot and it's just very relaxing. It's under the trees. I pull out my bins. So I can sit here and talk to you, good people. 
so I can see you. There I'm you go. I'm making fillings for a burrito. So let me show you what I what I put in there. Pinto beans. I just got a regular can. And I use and I use this. It's my strainer, but I don't have a colander. So I thought, well, I could use this. I put it in here and I drained it. And you have to rinse them. So I rinsed it off. And yeah, because it seems it's kind of gummy in there, you know. And then, then green chilies. Yeah. Oh, a whole can. It's gonna be hot. And I added. I had. The, I've had this for so long. Um. Yeah. So I thought. Um. Want some rice in there too. And so this is gonna be the filling with other stuff too, cheese and yeah. But this will last a few days.
little dollop of uh, sour cream. I love sour cream. So cool having access to a cooler. in one of my previous videos and a long time ago somebody commented uh, tell us about this water valve key well I'm finally getting back to it it's got different sizes for different size valves it's a little weighted I mean it's got weight to it it's metal it's not plastic this is for opening valves on the outside of buildings now my friend and I we were talking like why don't they just have you know like a valve that we have on your house well some houses I've read actually have these types of valves on it to turn the water on but maybe in businesses they don't want people just walking around turning the valve on and then running water so this is I heard about these in a survival website and it said if the shit hits a fan you need to have water and if you're in an urban setting you need to get water and you know like how, how what percentage of people in the United States are going to be in urban settings a high percentage so I bought one I couldn't find one at Home Depot or Lowe's so I just ordered this on Amazon I'll leave the link below for y'all um, I put I keep this in my glove compartment now why wouldn't I keep this in my bug out bag well my bug out bag per se is kind of kind of been spread around my minivan I use some of the things and so if there was an incident I'd probably have to take the time to kind of pack things back up and this is one I would pack up so this is a water key this is a water valve key there it is okay. hey y'all what is this do you remember the name of this? This is my Shemag. This is my favorite one. I have a few others, but this is my favorite. Where did I get my Shemag? I got it at an army surplus store in Tucson called Miller's Surplus. It's huge. It's a really good one. And uh, the armed forces wear these. They have a couple different colors. One is for more, one's more for sand, and one's more for another climate. But yeah. So one of y'all asked me if I would show details step by step slowly, so I'll go slow, how to put this on. So let's open it up and see what we have here. I believe this is 41 by 41 square. Okay, so what I do is I just fold it into a triangle like you would for us gals we remember how to do our bandanas right the Jackie O thing right so I hold it like this and now I'm gonna flip it back now I want I'm gonna fold this up I don't want to redo my hair because there's a couple places I need to go after this and of course there's gonna be a bump because I got my ponytail but normally if I wore this I would just put this down wind it down and put a couple bobby pins to hold it down okay so I'm gonna flip it around like so I'm gonna bring it down let me get my bangs out of the way I'm gonna bring it down to below my eyes and why because I'm going to flip it up in a minute you got these now I'm gonna take it in the back and I'm gonna cross it over don't let go cross it over and pull tight I got this in the back just leave it back there so you don't confuse it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this up because this is where I'm gonna tuck things in okay now first I do this side 
I twist it. Twist, twist, twist. Bring it up around. I'm going to tuck it in that fold. There we go. See? There. Now this one, I like to have this one a little bit longer. This one, it would twist. I twist this up around. There we go. Up around. And then I tuck it under the first one. Or anywhere you can kind of tuck it in there. There. I kind of wear it like this, kind of cockeyed. And then this, I pull down, pull down. Because when you pull it down, it kind of pulls. Whoops. Something's coming out here. Tuck that up. Pull this down. And I like to pull it to the side. It just kind of looks like maybe it's a braid. It's a little style that I like. I tilt it to the side. There you go. Sometimes what I do is kind of take out a little bit of hair and bring it down. So, but the reason I like to have this accessible is because if the wind is blowing and there's sand, I take this out, unroll it, and I, see, so kind of pull it out. See. It goes like that. There we go. And then I tuck that. Okay. And when the wind isn't blowing, if you want to go into Walmart, they want you to wear a mask. There you go. When you get out of Walmart, you roll it back up, twist around, and there you go. Now, this is more the male, the way the males wear the shemag. I'm going to say, and I don't know, you can correct me, I don't know, but I know this is the way the way males wear them. And if you might be in a Muslim nation, they might frown girls, it might frown on girls wearing these. But I live in America, so I wear this like this. I like it. There you go. Shamag. Look at this, everyone. This is our new microwave. Oh my gosh, what a game changer this is. We've got the Okmo and the microwave bungeed. When we want to use the microwave, we can just flip that off there. This is a Proctor Silex microwave. It wasn't expensive, it was like $48. I ordered it from Amazon only because it was, we would have had to drive around to find one at Walmart, yeah. So we just ordered it, it came in a couple days. And, wow. I know. It's not, it's 0.7 cubic feet and it's 700 watts. One is one minute, two is two minutes, three is three minutes. It's just so basic. Yeah. Now, this is the G1000 Okmo. We've got the dials over here. This is where uh, we turn it on. Now, it is turned on. And it's plugged in, it's continuous, it's not really drawing because it's not really on. It's probably drawn a little bit because it's showing it's on. Now this is the Okmo. Now we did try it first with the G2000, but what we found with that one, and I don't know if it's the particular one we have or it's all the G2000s. But whenever we weren't using the microwave, it wasn't actually on co cooking something. Within one minute, it went off. Everything just went off. Not so with the G1000. I don't know if it's just ours or if it's the actual G2000, all of them. It works great. Oh, my gosh. Yes, here. Um, it is on. Just start. There we go. So this is a real game changer. And what's going to happen is we're going to give you guys some recipes. We're going to find some and we're going to tweak them big time. And just to make them even better. Now, I do want to mention, like some of you have been asking, well, where did Abby come from? Who is she? Well, I'm traveling with a friend 
and the owner of Abby. And I'm sharing Abby with him. And um, we also have a podcast, This Nomad Life with Lee and Paul. And every Thursday, we're going to put out a podcast for y'all. So please follow that, and I will be letting you know, and I have already um, the links to those. So yeah, so the coolers down there, I'm putting some of my um, food in the cooler that needs to go in a cooler. So it's a game changer with that and with this and with this. Oy be shmea, it's really great, yes. And I, you just saw me doing the burritos the bean burritos bean and rice so we got some more recipes coming for you i hope you'll enjoy them so i'm so glad that you watch this video all the way through please subscribe give me a thumbs up and turn on notifications if you want to know when my videos are up at all times as soon as they're up i put videos out monday wednesday and friday if you want stickers and magnets or and or the book, go to minivanlee.com. Just scroll down just a little bit and you'll find stickers and magnets. I've got about four different magnets and four different stickers too. And it, it's a way to help support me and I really appreciate y'all for doing that. Just scroll down just a little bit more, you'll find the link to my book on my website but you don't even have to go there for the book you can look at the video description i've got the ebook and the paperback and it's a to z getting into this lifestyle because i'm telling you it is so much fun we are having so much fun so i love you guys mm, i hope you have a really good week bye